Warriors, it's Guru Joe, and I'm just going to do a little Western boxing, Kali, JKD video. Pretty much to me, those three subjects are related, so let's get to it. So last week, we did a live phone workout. If you follow our Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash the River City Warriors. Uh, you can find us there. Sometimes we live stream, and uh, we don't get a chance to post that to YouTube. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about the footwork we did the other day, which is the female triangle and the quarter pivot turn. And we'll do it in a shadow boxing context because I know a lot of people don't necessarily have a heavy bag at home right now. Um, but you can use any object. You can hang a tennis ball from the ceiling. Um, maybe I'll do that. Get creative. You can definitely find your own apparatus to work with. So uh, I got this and a concrete floor and obviously my water heater back here. Maybe I'll, I'll see if I can green screen the wall since it's naturally painted green behind me. So, all right, let's get to it. Okay, so... Female triangle, if I'm, if I'm in a left lead, what I'm gonna do is bring my feet to the rear and come up, and I'm gonna stagger my stance exactly. So once I switch, my shoulder orientation changes. So right now I'm in a standard left lead. Both my hands are jaw level on the top row of teeth. My two elbows are in and down, covering the floating rib on both sides, and I'm angulated about 45 degrees with the heel up and back. So when I switch, it's gonna be exactly opposite. So an easy thing to start with, which is what we did last week, I'm just gonna repeat it, is just start with a one, two. So I switch, now my jab is now the lead hand, and the cross is gonna be my left. So jab and cross from a left lead, and jab and cross from a right lead. Now in the beginning, make this mechanical. Maybe the jab comes out right as you touch the ground, so there's a transfer of body weight as you push off of the back foot right eventually what you're gonna do is just either do a quick switch like that so i can still bring my feet together it's almost like i'm about to start jogging like to my other side this way okay the other way i can do it and the one we're gonna do on the heavy bag is more like a turn like that see so i'm gonna swing the back leg forward and turn that way swing and turn okay so i can go to the rear point to get to the triangle or I can go up and back. So that's the next one I want you to have. We call that the box step, okay? So we have female triangle here, there's a V. That's called rear replace because I'm changing my feet in the rear of the stance, in the rear of the guard position. The box step is gonna come up and then open this way, one and two, one and two. Now I could still use that for a jab or I could use it defensively, like maybe I'm parrying to cut the angle and gonna throw an opposite side knee. But what it's really good for is bent arm striking, hooks and uppercuts. So the first one we're gonna to do today is you're gonna switch, plant the back foot, vertical uppercut. Switch, back foot, uppercut. Switch, back foot, uppercut. That's it, and then of course when you get it, you can just hop. That's it, so both my feet are moving at the same time. You could also switch Hook, uppercut. Now that hand is gonna hit twice. Hook, uppercut. Hook, uppercut. Could also switch, uppercut, hook. Switch, uppercut, hook. Could go uppercut, hook, hook. Hook, uppercut, hook. So any method of bent arm blows is totally fine, okay? So the first one that I would show my class or whoever I'm working with is to switch, and uppercut, switch and uppercut. Then a good idea, hook, maybe throw a combination. When you're ready to switch again, hook on the other side. That's it. All right, so using the bag, you wanna do this at a little closer proximity than middle range boxing to start out with. So a good indicator is to just go into bump range where I can touch my forearm against the bag and kind of feel it like there's a body here that I'm about to like clinch with. So what I'm gonna do is uppercut the body, and now I'm gonna to try to switch and move my head to the other side. And then I uppercut the body. So when I switch again, see my head is hidden, it's on the other side of the bed. When I switch again, my head is gonna shift. Switch, switch. And I can always use this forearm to kind of recreate that bump. Switch, keep it off, uppercut. Switch, uppercut, switch, uppercut. That's it. Then of course you could go hook, uppercut, hook, uppercut. So now you can see I am a little further away 
because I'm not starting with the bump range uppercut first. Hook, uppercut, hook. You need to do a few, any combination, switch hook, uppercut. That's it, okay? Now, let's talk a little bit more about how this has application and value when you have a real opponent in front of you, okay? Why would I take my rear arm and hook this way and switch my lead? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, it can be evasive, but what you're really doing is cutting an angle. So I'll do it from here just so you can see it. See, actually, if I switch and hit with the front, see, hook, hook. If the person moved over here, or if I hit them and they travel this way, now when I throw my left, I am essentially in the left lead. See, check this out on the back. See, left lead, right lead, but if that was a real person, now when I hit this jab, I'm automatically in the left lead, okay? And that just goes into what we call the quarter pivot turn, okay? So I hook, hook, but see, even though my right foot is in front over here, if I just shift my body weight, it is a left lead. So you check it out from the footwork here. So uppercut, female triangle, uppercut, I'm in the right lead. But if that person moves over here, I'm automatically in the left stance again because that's my inside line here inside my gate. So a lot of times you're here, you make that switch and you follow up because you push the person through the line and then start to step. And there's a, there's a lot of good boxers you can follow for examples on this. Uh, you see Manny Pacquiao do this footwork. Uh, people like Vasily Lomachenko will pull it off. So uh, it's not uncommon, it just takes a little bit of practice. So if we go back to our triangle, we can always go hook, uppercut, hook, or whatever, switch, uppercut, hook. That was the first one. This is the female triangle as a rear replace. Okay, box step, box step from the box step. If I'm just shadow boxing on my own, I don't have to always face forward. So now I might turn cross. So I keep my right lead, okay? I might forward replace, jab, cross, hook, box step. Oh, now I envision the person moving to my left, jab, and I'm back to my left lead here. So just practice that, work on number one, rear replace, any punch, jab, jab, one, two, cross, and just do it mechanical. Set the weight when you touch the foot. Set the weight and drop, okay? Then you can pick up the speed, still work any combination, cross jab, jab, cross hook. Then you can work the box, can work that. Slow two, parallel, foot back. Parallel, foot back. Parallel, foot back. Quick switch, that's it. So you notice that turn, that turn provides a little dip, and that's what's gonna afford the opportunity to uppercut or hook to the body, okay? So as you switch on the triangle, especially when you're shadow boxing, let me reiterate, I'm switching on the triangle, and I'm gonna use that to change direction. So you switch, you can go left, right, right, left. Switch, right lead this way, see? That's it. So people are gonna move around you if they're good. They're not gonna just follow linear path forward, linear path backward. If they do, that's somebody who's pretty easy to spar. They're not usually like head and bags. They're gonna move around all over the ring, all over the real estate, whatever it is that they have, okay? So uh, go ahead and uh, practice that, Warriors. Let me know what you think. Sometimes in boxing, that footwork is commonly called a bunny hop, okay? I've had uh, several coaches refer to it that way, but under the Inasano boxing curriculum, we call that the box step when it's the front foot first, and we call it rear replace when it's the second foot. Totally valid for Kali. Imagine I zoned over here with the knife, and now I want to switch to the other side and have the knife be forward if this was the knife again. So it should all come together regardless of the art and uh, we'll just keep exploring it, going through these progressions. This is kind of a one-off because some of my students had a question about this particular footwork, so I thought I would break it down a little further. But as always, if there's any technique 
if you want to see or you're interested in, if you have any questions at all, please throw it our way. And uh, one of us, one of the head coaches here at the Warriors, will be able to answer it for you. All right, you guys. Hope you're all doing well out there. Really appreciate you. Thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel and sharing it. I've seen a ton of people sharing it lately. Got to give a shout out to my man, Mike. It seems like he, as soon as I post the video, 10 seconds later, he shares the video to everybody in the circle. So really appreciate that, brother. Keep it up and uh, appreciate you guys spreading the word. All right, Warriors out.